This week, the Dutch company Paul V announced the first flights of its prototype flying car. This unique vehicle is called the Paul V-1, or the personal air and land vehicle. And it marks the start of a new era. On the ground, the vehicle drives like a sports car. Within minutes, its rotor is unfolded and its tail is extended. Then it is ready to take off thanks to the advanced gyrocopter technology. With these successful test results, it's proven that it is not only possible to build a flying car, but also that it can be done within existing international rules for both flying and driving. Having passed this important milestone, the company is now inviting investors to join them in creating the future. The next step will be the design of the first commercial production model of the Paul V, and first deliveries are expected in 2014. For 100 years, people have been dreaming of a flying car, and many attempts have been made to realize this dream, but now it has truly become a reality.
Personal flight is an extraordinary thing. It's something that we've all dreamed of. That's why the company is called Terrafugia. It's not about the transition. It's not about the first product. It's about the movement of humanity up off of the ground and uh, to make better use of flying. I met the other co-founders at MIT. Carl had designed a new, pretty novel liquid-fueled uh, rocket engine, so we were uh, worked together to build that. Sam was very good friends with Carl. He introduced me to Carl through the MIT rocket team, which was a lot of fun. Uh, it was this another student group that Carl had actually founded. I asked Carl one day, "What you know? What are we going to do after we graduate?" And he said, "You know, let's build flying cars." He thought about it for a minute or two and said, "Yeah, I guess we can do that." That was probably the point in time that was the beginning of Terrafugia. You know, we rented out this, really this old mechanics garage, and we walked in and there's nothing. There's four walls, a floor. And so what we did to get us over that was we taped uh, an outline of the plane on the ground, and there's a, there's a classic picture of us all pointing at the, the plane on the ground and said, we're gonna build an airplane here. They had an idea, and I was looking for people that had ideas, met up with them, and started helping them refine their business plan. That was my initial role. We brought kind of design and the desire to build a flying car and Alex brought the business side of it. We had the, the training and the skills and, and we're willing to put in the hard work. Really what you want in a founding team is a bunch of people with very complementary skill sets and that's what we've got. The co-founders of Terrafuji are really some of the most amazing people that I met during my entire time at MIT. I don't invest in a company, I invest in people I know. Same thing with organizations I'm a part of. The fact that people would come up to us and say, so you know this is impossible, right? Um, didn't phase any of us. And I think you have to have not just one person who feels that way, but a group of people who feel that way. And with that combination, why, why wouldn't it happen? You know, we do plan to be the forefront of the flying car industry. You know, we want to be the first one to break on that market and then we want to lead it. And I see no reason why we can't do that. Everybody that shows up at work here today is part of that now. Like, this is something we're going to make happen. The technical challenges aren't a bad thing. You know, as an engineer, that's what we do. We solve problems. And those all culminate, you know, in finally building an aircraft, or in our case, a flying car that flies and drives. The reason that I wanted to found Terrafugia is because I want to help people fly. You know, what could be better than walking into your driveway, getting your flying car, flying to work. No traffic, no speed limits. We want to make a mark on this world, and this is a way that we can do it. We have the technology at our fingertips to change the way we all get around.